Uh, it has villainized uh, key individuals. Uh, it has been privileged. It has been demoralizing. And I can go on and on and on. High drama today. Today, Mayor Cantrell fired back at investigations of key staffers like Communications Director Gregory Joseph by members of the City Council. Now, Mayor Cantrell and Council Member J.P. Morrell went head to head today in two separate news conferences. The city leaders each blamed the other for a toxic environment. Alyssa Curtis was there as it all unfolded. Campaign, is that correct? This council continues, just continues to pour. Uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxpayers' money uh, into investigations that continue uh, to yield little to no results at all. The council spent zero dollars on that investigation. I'm sorry, we might have had to pay for the transcript, which was probably a couple, couple of hundred dollars. Mayor Cantrell's accusations against City Council Wednesday were immediately addressed by Council Member J.P. Morrell in his own emergency press conference. Cantrell's accusations stem from her addressing the council's investigations into mailers the council says were sent illegally in response to the recall. Cantrell said the investigation is unconstitutional, but declined to further explain. There's gray area. I believe that there's level of un, uh, things that are unconstitutional. That's my, my, that's my opinion. That's what I'm sharing at this time. But Morrell pointed to the city charter. The charter clearly provides for this process. We have followed that process to a T. That investigation has led the council to move to terminate Gregory Joseph, but Cantrell refuses. I'm not firing anyone. Yeah. I'm supporting. I'm supporting a city employee that is now joined, is now a part of a community of city employees that have been disrespected, villainized, discriminated against. Instead, she says council has created a toxic environment that has led to key employees to leave, including, she says, a recent resignation by the acting DPW director, Sarah Porteous. What we're doing to city employees, it's damaging and it damages the soul. Joseph has yet to comment on the council's investigation or their decision to terminate him. We tried to speak with him Wednesday, but were denied. Hey, why are y'all here? We're trying to talk to Gregory. No. Is he... We're not allowed to ask him for comment, anything. We can't even ask, get him to say no comment. Is he ever, I just want to know, is he ever going to hold no, anything? How is Alyssa Cardi supporting? As you just saw there, a hearing is set for October 3rd. The administration and Joseph can dispute those findings before the council takes a final vote. Morrell says if they do vote to terminate Joseph, but the mayor still refuses, Ken Trell can either file a lawsuit or the council can withhold his pay. Now, this is at least the third time the council has targeted the administration with contempt charges. Now, the council used the tactic last June to force the administration to turn over documents as it investigated the smart city broadband deal. Now, the contractor dropped out amid accusations the bids were rigged. In January, the council held the Wisner Trust Board, which is led by Ken Trell in contempt for blocking requests for financial records in defiance of a court order. The previous mayor, Mitch Landrew, was held in contempt along with the council for refusing to pay a legal judgment owed to New Orleans firefighters. Landrew then, he nearly had to go on house arrest before a deal was struck. And prior to that, Mayor Reagan, what Ray Nagan rather, was held in contempt several times, but not by the city council. The NRA targeted Nagan and the police chief at the time, Warren Riley, for failing to return firearms confiscated during Hurricane Katrina. And then in 2009, the city was ordered to pay nearly $7,000 in penalties for refusing to comply with a public records request by an attorney working with an investigative reporter for WWL. In 2013, Nagan was indicted by federal authorities. He became the first New Orleans mayor to stand trial for public corruption and was convicted on 20 counts. Tragic story we 